It is Tuesday, May 7th. Today is a trisepatide shot day. And that means I did weigh myself this morning. And if I remember right, and I'll put a picture up, I think it was 257.2 maybe. And um, my last weigh-in on my last shot day was 258.6, I think. I'm kind of bummed because I did weigh myself just randomly yesterday and I was 256.6 and I was like, sweet. Um, of course, weight's going to fluctuate daily, but I am still bummed that um, I'm not the 256 or less, but still um, an overall downward trend for my last shot day. So we'll take it. Um, I have already taken my shot and I'll go ahead and show that to you now. Okay, so it's so weird, right, that I am when I'm reconstituting these vials, I'm putting in the appropriate amount of backwater. I don't know if it's somehow um, evaporating while it's in the fridge. I don't know why it should be doing that since I do keep the rubber seal on there. I don't see how it would be able to evaporate. That's the only thing I can think of, though, like... Unless the needle that I'm using is too big of a gauge. I think it's like a 28 gauge when I reconstitute and draw. I'll have to ask the forums about that. Um, I'm really hoping to get my pens soon, those insulin pens, and maybe that will help. I have no clue, but hopefully. That's the one thing I can think is happening because I'm not overdrawing when I'm taking, like, th so this was a 15 milliliter and I'm at five, sorry, 15 milligram vial and I'm at five milligrams. So I'm taking five, three times, right? I'm not overdrawing on the first two to get, or even on one of the two. I'm usually very precise about making sure that, that top line of the um, rubber stopper in the syringe is at the 0.5. So I don't know what's going on there. I have been taking my Mott's C shot and that's Monday, Wednesday, Friday. We are going to Hawaii next week, and I don't want to bother taking like ins like syringes and needles and all that kind of stuff with me. So I'm just going to be skipping next week. It kind of sucks because my TERS shot is actually like the next, the first day or the next day that we get there. But I'm just going to pick it back up when I get back home, and we'll just start from there. Even though my weight loss is not as fast as I would like it to be. I still think it's kind of a good thing. Um, positive. It's a positive thing because I'm only on five uh, milligrams of trisepatide right now. And it seemed like my weight loss was starting to pick back up at 10 milligrams when I took that 10 shot. So, I mean, I'm hopeful, right? I still, our group buys, we still haven't figured out the next place that we're going to purchase from. I was looking up some online vendors and it sucks, man. Prices suck. Like just for a single vial of 30, I'm wanting to say it was like 350 or $400, something like that. And that's how much basically I spent. I think it was like 422 or something like that for 10 vials of 30 at the last group buy. So that is so hard to swallow. Uh, I don't, I don't know. So as much as weight wise would probably be good for me to titrate up to the 10 milligrams, I only have five vials of 30. So that's 15 weeks, 15 weeks worth of shots, I guess I should say 15 shots. Cause I don't go seven days. I go five days. So that's just, I don't know. I don't know. I'll figure it out. And it is what it is, right? And I've stopped before and I can stop again and restart it whenever we get this figured out. In the meantime, guys, I have been purchasing so much on these cosmetic forums. It's crazy. I've got uh, some different masks that I'm doing, um, some different actives like chemical exfoliants and Actives are like um, vitamin C and uh, retinols and tretinone, tretinoins, um, that kind of stuff. And then some uh, face 
washes and things that you can micro needle and all this kind of stuff. So I'm super excited to get this going. I bought some Korean uh, skin uh, sunscreens that I'm looking forward to getting. It's not, it's going to be probably, you know, a good month, month and a half, maybe going on two months before I actually get some of this stuff. So that part is hard because I just, I want it and I want it now. We have started gathering things together for the Hawaii trip. Um, it's basically just little little odds and ends, like some beach towels, some sunscreen, um, some of the snorkel stuff. And it's just starting this pile, this mound in our bedroom. But it's kind of exciting. I flip and hate to pack, guys. I hate it because I usually overpack because I think, oh, maybe I'll need this or maybe I'll need that or maybe we're going to do this kind of a thing. And then half the time I don't use half the crap that I bring. And then I'm like, why did I overpack? You know, I lived in this pair of shorts or, you know, I was swimming. So I just lived in a swim top and, oh, and that's, I got to check my bathing suits. Last year uh, when the swim season hit, I uh, grabbed a pair of bottoms to put on. And I don't know that I noticed this right away. I can't remember if I, if I had worn them that day. I don't think so. I think I noticed before I put them on, but the butt the elastic was like super see-through. So I don't think that I wore them that day. I think I caught it before I went to put them on. All that to say, I need to check my bathing suits and see what the state of them um, are like. Because I don't want to bring suits that are inappropriate or non-functional with me. I'm a little bit nervous about them losing my luggage. Although I don't know why. I've never, you know, not gone would. Um, I've never had them lose my luggage yet, but then it's like, well, I'm taking a backpack for my carry on, like my purse, basically. Um, do I want to put a change of clothing in there? I'm definitely going to be bringing my daily meds like on the plane with me as opposed to in my luggage. And that's another thing that I'm a little bit worried about is the plane ride. My last plane ride to Vegas sucked. Like they just kept circling. It was turbulent. I was queasy for a good like three days. Like it took forever for my body to settle down from that. We're flying with kids this time. Our kids have never been on a plane. I'm a little bit nervous about that. Definitely bringing the puke bags and I'm going to have some. My husband's going to have some just so we're all, all the bases are covered, you know. I'm sure once we actually get there though, it's going to be so much fun. It's, I'm, I don't even know what the weather's going to be like, quite honestly, even if it's rainy, as long as it's not like thundering or a uh, lightning out, I'm sure we'll still like be in the pool and going on hikes and all that fun stuff. So I'm excited. I haven't been to Hawaii since, what was I last time? I think I was 21, maybe the last time I was there and I'm in my forties now. So it's been some time guys. And, uh, I'm excited. I, I was, my, um, pictures, you know, they'll remind you from Amazon photos or Google photos, like this is what you did, you know, two years ago. So it was showing me some photos from our Cancun trip that my husband and I did for our anniversary a couple years ago. And it was so beautiful The The water was gorgeous. The beaches were beautiful, but, um, the vendors for like brick and mortar type stores were so aggressive they were like, we took this catamaran trip to um, Isla de Mujeres and the catamaran was not super great. It was like a drinking barge and I don't drink that much um, and I get a little bit seasick. So, and I get heat stroke very easily. So I was having heat stroke and then we got to the island itself after the snorkeling, which the snorkeling part was way too limited. Like, you know, it's like 10, maybe 15 minutes in the water and that's the main part. I didn't care about really shopping and stuff. Anyway. So we get to the actual island. All of these vendors are trying to be like, hey, come on in. And they're trying to like act like you know, they know you. Oh, I was your bartender at your resort last night. Like complete fabrications. But it was just really aggressive. And I did not love the energy of that. I did find a pair of very pretty earrings. So you know, I was happy about that. But um, I just, I did not like that vibe. And as far as I remember, Hawaii did not have that um, energy. You know, if you wanted to go into the stores, you could, but there were, there weren't people like on the, on the sidewalk, basically crowding you to come into the store and like grabbing you to come in and see their wares and then not letting you leave until you purchased something, you know? So I just keep trying to tell myself, all right, it's going to be different. It's just, it's going to be relaxing. There's not going to be a lot of, you know, stressors. So fingers crossed, right? 
Um, as far as the terzepatide goes, I haven't really been having really bad sulfur burps, which I'm very grateful for. I'm kind of wondering if I'll experience that more as I titrate up like to the seven and a half and then to the 10, because that's definitely at the seven and a half. I was just not happy with the amount of bloat that I have. I haven't really been experiencing too much bloating here, so that's good too. Um, I just kind of sent out some feelers for these medical research studies. They, there's one called, what's it, Velocity Research Clinic, I think is what it's called. Um, they had one to study cardiac um, risk for overweight individuals. So um, it seems like these type of clinical studies typically pay pretty well. My sister's done a couple a few times. And then like when her kids were young, she would um, put her kids in there to like get the flu shot or whatever. And they'd make some money that way. But um, with me not working, uh, depending on what kind of study it is, it can be a couple thousand dollars, you know, per study. And if it's something that's going to clinical trials or even they're not necessarily even having you do medication, maybe they're just keeping an eye on you to check what your cardiac risk is. I mean, they this place had just a ton of studies available. I just inquired about the uh, cardiovascular risk in overweight individuals. So... I don't know, hopefully they'll reach out to me. In the meantime, I'm doing just these, you know, one-off studies, um, which, you know, that maybe they'll pay like a buck 17 for six minutes or that kind of thing. So I've made like $40 on that so far. Big money, right? And then I'm probably going to get Popeye's chicken after I pick up some meds later today. So that's where <laughs> all that hard work is going. Popeye's chicken. We did see the fall guy um, on the third. It was really good. Um, Ryan Gosling, he's really having a moment, right? He did great. Emily Blunt, her character was so cute. The storyline was good. The action was good. At the very end, they show um, the stuntmen doing the stunts for, you know, like Ryan Gosling, who's supposed to be a stuntman. So it was kind of meta in that sense, but it was really fun to see the experiences that, you know, they chose to show us. Um, I, I would recommend it. I thought it was really cute. The story was well done. Um, I don't know why it's not, I guess it's not doing well at the box office, but it's pretty cute. So I would say if you're looking for a comedic action, slight romance, I mean, there's definitely a romantic um, storyline that goes through it. I would see the fall guy. It's really, it's really good. All right, guys, I will talk to you later. I hope you have a great week. Bye.